I'm Andrew Geyer. I'm the structural engineer of record here on the BJC Campus Renewal Project. Construction behind me on the Children's Expansion Project is progressing nicely. And today we're going to talk about one of the elements of the work which helps resist the, the wind and, and seismic loads on the building. And that is the construction of the shear walls that you see behind me. The, the Children's Expansion behind us has two sets of shear walls in the building. The one to my left is the uh, core around the, the stair tower that's in the building. And the one under construction that you see over here with the rebar going in is around the elevator shaft. We've chosen those positions because they're logical. They don't have many doors and openings, no pipe penetrations. And so we can build these walls without a lot of interruption and they can do their, their work to resist the loads. The stair core wall, which you see rising out of the basement to the first floor, is closed up and about ready to be poured with concrete in the next few days. Concrete is great in compression. It's a little weak in tension, so we put steel reinforcing, and in the case of the children's expansion here, quite a lot of it, to help resist that tension force. Because if you stand there with your feet and have someone push on you, you'll see you're pushing down with one foot and the other foot starts to lift off the ground. And so the rebar in the concrete helps resist that tension um, and anchors it down into the bedrock of the structure. You know, imagine taking a paper clip and bending it, bending it, bending it, bending it. How many times can you bend it? How far can you bend it until it breaks? The rebar is, is detailed inside the corners of the shear wall, which you can see in the elevator is, is quite dense, to confine the concrete and allow it to do what engineers call plastic hinging, but basically that paper clip effect by bending back and forth without degrading its strength or stiffness over time. So on this particular project, the stair core wall, as we start out of the foundation here and at the parking level, will rise 200 feet to the roof. The elevator core, since the elevator will be serving the helipad level, will go a little higher and will actually rise about 250 feet from the foundation. 